PipeFi tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use PipeFi. PipeFi is a workflow management tool that allows you to track and automate your processes in a visual and organized way. It helps you streamline your tasks, communicate with team members, and keep everything in one place. Whether you're a small business owner trying to organize your tasks, or part of a big company looking for an efficient workflow management tool, PipeFi can help you out. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the basic steps of using PipeFi. We will show you how to create an account and provide an overview of PipeFi's features and functionalities. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to create a new portal in PipeFi and discuss the plans and pricing. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using PipeFi, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start for Free button, which is located at the top right corner of the home page. Upon clicking Start for Free, you'll be directed to the registration page. Here, enter your email address and the provided field and hit the Continue button. Subsequently, you will be prompted to provide additional information. Follow these on screen instructions and provide the necessary details. After completing the registration, an email verification will be required. An email will be sent to the address provided during the sign-up process. Open this email and click the verification link within it. Upon successful email verification, you will be automatically redirected to your new PipeFi account dashboard. The PipeFi dashboard is the central hub of your account. It is where you can access and manage all of your portals. On the dashboard, you'll find a navigation menu on the top side with options to access different features. Each option is tailored to give you control and visibility over various aspects of your workflow. The Home option provides an overview of your pipes, databases, and portals. Pipes refer to your processes, while databases store your process-related information. Portals, on the other hand, are interfaces that gather pipes and databases into a single page. They are designed to foster collaboration by allowing teams to view, manage, and present processes in a unified space. The Requests feature in the dashboard functions as a request management system. Here, you can initiate new requests and monitor their progress from inception to completion. It allows you to keep a real-time eye on the status of your requests, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. Next, we have the Tasks section, which provides a brief summary of your pending and completed tasks. This feature is particularly useful for managing your workload and ensuring that all tasks are completed on time. The interface option on the dashboard enhances user experience by allowing you to organize your data visually. Using drag and drop functionality, you can move data from pipes and databases to create pages. This powerful feature empowers teams to manage and present their processes more effectively. Lastly, the profile section is where you can manage your company settings. From adding members and setting permissions to monitoring company activities and generating reports, it's the control panel for your organizational operations. It also allows you to switch between different company profiles, making managing multiple businesses easy. Now, let's see how to create a portal in PipeFi. Creating a portal in PipeFi is an intuitive process designed to maximize workflow efficiency and collaboration within a team. A portal in PipeFi is an interface that brings together pipes and databases into a single page, facilitating real-time updates and fostering team collaboration. By creating and customizing a portal, you can manage and present processes in a unified space, making your workflow more organized and efficient. To create a portal, start by clicking on the Home tab in the top menu of your PipeFi account. Scroll down until you reach the Portals section. Here, you will find a plus Create Portal button. Clicking on this button will redirect you to a page where you can enter the necessary information to create your portal. Once on this page, you will notice a left sidebar. This sidebar allows you to choose the portal access from three given options. Company portal, link access, and public on the web. This is where you determine who can access the portal. Next, shift your attention to the appearance section. This is where you can customize your portal's look to align with your company's branding. You can add a logo by clicking on the choose an image option, and choose a background by clicking on the choose an image option under the add background option. After customizing the portal's appearance, move to the main canvas to input the portal's title. Simply enter the title in the Enter a Title field. Below this field, there's another one where you can enter a short description of the portal. 
If you want to add a form to collect data, click on the plus add a form option. A pop-up will appear with various fields that need to be filled. Form, form title, and form description. The form is where you can define the structure and layout of the form. The form title field is where you input the title for your form. The title should accurately represent the purpose of the form, giving users a clear indication of what the form is for. Finally, use the form description field to provide a brief description of the form. This should give users additional context or instructions for filling out the form, making it easier and more straightforward for them to complete. Be sure to explain any specific requirements or guidelines that users should follow when filling out the form. After adding a form, you can add more content to the portal by clicking on the plus add other types of content option. From here, you can choose the type of content like forms, headings, paragraphs, dividers, and buttons. Once you've made all your changes, click on the Save and Close button at the top right corner of the screen. Your portal will now be saved and ready to use. When it comes to pricing, Pipeify offers a range of plans designed to cater to different business needs and sizes. These plans are tailored to provide functionalities that align with the user's requirements, from small teams and students to large-scale enterprises. The first plan offered is the Starter Plan. This plan is ideal for small teams, startups, freelancers, and students who need a structured platform to organize their tasks efficiently. What makes this offering particularly attractive is that it is absolutely free and requires no credit card for registration. This plan provides an opportunity for individuals and small teams to leverage the power of PipeFi without any financial commitments. Next, we have the business plan designed for mid-market teams that require a centralized platform to scale their business processes effectively. This plan comes with a cost of $24 per user per month, billed monthly. The pricing is competitively set to provide an affordable solution for businesses in need of advanced features and functionalities for their growing needs. For larger corporations with complex process management needs and a requirement for enterprise-level security, control, and support, PipeFi offers the Enterprise Plan. This plan is priced at $40 per user per month, billed monthly. It provides enhanced features that cater to the comprehensive requirements of larger businesses, including stringent security controls and support systems. Lastly, PipeFi provides the Unlimited Plan for organizations that need unrestricted access to all features and capabilities offered by PipeFi. This plan is designed to error-proof enterprise processes, ensuring a seamless workflow and improved productivity. The pricing for this plan is not stated up front. To access this plan, you need to contact the sales team for a personalized pricing structure based on your specific needs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using PipeFi. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take